me how I go about making my um, fondant uh, bows for some of my cookies and I've also done a couple of flowers and different things like that. I start with some cornstarch um, and a silicone mold. These are ones that are specific like all roses or leaves or things like that that you can get from Etsy or Amazon. Um, I like this one. I actually got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it was in the jewelry section but I'm not sure. And I just take it and I dust the insides with um, cornstarch of whatever shape you know I'm going to do. And then I take a little piece of fondant. It can be homemade or store-bought. I've done both. Um, I actually think the store-bought uh, dries harder than my regular fondant. So if you want to make them like I do um, all in one day and then have a bunch of them left um, you know, to store in a Tupperware container or something, um, store-bought is good. Um, then I take it, press it in, and then I take this knife, which I got it for like $0.97 cent at Walmart, and then I just take and I cut the top off, and that leaves me with a nice flat back on there. And then you just take your silicone mold and you pop it right out. And I've had people ask, you know, can you do it in color, different colors? And the answer is yes, but I prefer to do it in all of mine in white. And you'll see I have tons here that's a rose, a skull and crossbones for a girl, um, a mirror and a comb to add to some different, um, uh, different cookies. And I do uh, these all the time and just save them in all white because then what I found I can do, that's a little owl that I made that came from this same set here. Um, what I found that I can do is airbrush them to match whatever design I'm doing. And that way I don't have to know the color in advance. And this is one of my mess up cookies from the engagement set. But you can see I, I did this one in white too and then I just... Uh, spray painted it uh, with pink and then glued it on with a little bit of icing and then I keep mine in containers like this and I just usually take a day make a whole bunch of them and then when I need a certain color seeing those I just spray painted purple or um, on my um, um, and I let them dry out for at least 24 hours um, and sometimes it might take a little longer because I actually want it to be pretty crisp so that it doesn't lose its shape when it's on the cookie but that's how I do it I'll do another example so you can see but you just basically take it press it hard to make sure all of the area is filled in and then I take my silicone knife I press the top and then I just cut down the sides and that typically leaves me with a nice flat finish and that will be pressed nicely up against the the back side of the cookie and you see I didn't spray that one too well, but you can kind of still see it. I mean, I didn't dust that one too well. And then once that dries, I'll paint it and pop it on a cookie. Thanks.